Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue discussing the chemical properties of chlorine gas. So property number six, displacement reactions of chlorine gas. And first of all, what we can say is that uh, chlorine displaces halide ions. Chlorine displaces halide ions that are below it in the reactivity series. So in this case, we can say that uh, chlorine gas displaces halide ions, e.g. bromide ions and iodide ions, the halide ions that are below, below it in the reactivity series. So you can say that chlorine is more reactive than bromine and iodine. Chlorine is more reactive than bromine and iodine due to its ease of electron gain. So chlorine gains electrons more easily than bromine and iodine. So we are saying that chlorine gains electrons more easily than bromine and iodine. So let's look at uh, displacement reactions involving chlorine. Uh, for example, if we have potassium bromide solution and then you bubble chlorine gas into that solution, the following reaction will take place. So we are saying that chlorine is more reactive than bromine and therefore it can displace or it can take the place of bromine in the bromide ions. So in this case, chlorine will displace the bromine from the bromide ions. So we'll have potassium chloride solution being formed and then bromine will be displaced out as bromine liquid. So that's a displacement. To balance it, uh, put a two there and a two there. So basically, the bromide ions have been displaced by chlorine. Their position has been taken by chlorine, and that is because chlorine is more reactive than, than bromine. On the other hand, we can say that uh, the color of potassium bromide is colorless. The color of chlorine is green, yellow. But after displacement, potassium chloride is colorless and then we form a red-brown liquid. So bromine is red-brown. So the color uh, changes from green-yellow to red-brown. Green-yellow is the color of chlorine, but after the displacement of bromine, then the color changes to red-brown. Another example we can take uh, potassium iodide, which is also another 
halide containing solution plus chlorine. So this one is also colorless. Chlorine is green, yellow. And then iodine or iodide ions are displaced as iodine by chlorine. So we have potassium chloride plus iodine. Iodine is a solid, is a shiny dark solid. So to balance the equation, that's how to balance it. So basically, uh, those two are displacement reactions uh, that show how uh, chlorine is uh, able to displace the iodide ions and the bromide ions. But if we had potassium fluoride plus chlorine, here we'll have no reaction. No reaction. The reason for that is because chlorine is of a lower reactivity than fluorine. So it cannot displace fluorine from fluoride ions. So chlorine cannot displace fluorine. Fluorine is more reactive than chlorine. So for an element to be able to displace another one, then it must be more reactive than the one it is displacing. So chlorine cannot displace fluorine. So in this case, there is no reaction. But chlorine can displace iodine. Chlorine can displace bromide or bromine. So next we'll uh, discuss the test for chlorides. Test for chloride ions in solution. To know if a solution has chloride ions, you either add lead 2 nitrate or you add silver nitrate. So silver nitrate and lead 2 nitrate can be used to determine the presence of chloride ions in a solution. For example, so we are saying that silver nitrate or lead 2 nitrate is used to test for chlorides from a solution, to test for chlorides from a solution. So for example, if we have solutions such as sodium chloride, and then you add silver nitrate, which is also a solution, then we shall form a white precipitate of silver chloride which is a white precipitate plus silver chloride plus sodium nitrate. So the presence of the white precipitate indicates the presence of chloride ions. And we can say that ionically, what is happening is that the chloride ions in the sodium are combining with the silver ions from the silver nitrate to form silver chloride. And this is the one we are saying is a white uh, precipitate. So when lead 2 nitrate is used, if we use lead 2 nitrate, plus sodium chloride, also we are testing for chloride ions, we'll get lead 2 chloride, which is a solid plus sodium nitrate. To balance that, oh, lead 2 nitrate.
So lead 2 chloride is also a white precipitate that dissolves on warming. So if you get a white precipitate, then the precipitate dissolves on warming, then we know that that was lead 2 chloride. But if we get a white precipitate that does not dissolve on warming, we know that that is silver chloride. So ionically, we can also do the same. We are saying that lead 2 ions combine with chloride ions to form lead 2 chloride, which is the white precipitate that dissolves on warming. So basically what we are saying is that testing for chlorides in solutions, we can either use silver nitrate or lead 2 nitrate. Silver nitrate forms uh, a white precipitate with chlorides. Lead 2 nitrate also forms a white precipitate with chlorides, but that one dissolves when you warm. It dissolves on warming. So our assignment So assignment, the first question, write an ionic equation between bromide ions and chlorine gas. And number two, explain how chlorides are tested using silver nitrate. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye.